participates in a school event, you could just see all the pride come together. Um, definitely one experience I had was the tape the teacher to the wall when we were all together, all working for a cause for the tornado that hit Washington, Illinois. Um, I'm happiest at school when I'm just talking about a teacher and like I could see how passionate they are about their subject. Like a lot of my science teachers, I could tell they really like science and they want to like inspire kids to go into the science fields and like do all these great things because I know like they could have gone into the field and done it, but instead they chose to teach. And I think that's like really unique. Instead of like taking it upon themselves to do stuff, they want to inspire other people to do stuff. And like even when a teacher like knows a kid doesn't like a subject, at least like if they're trying to get someone invested so like they could appreciate it. Like maybe someone like really hates chemistry, but like they could appreciate the people that like do the work for. It. And like I just like seeing a teacher light up when you mention something they really like. Like it happens all the time in science and English and I just think it's like the cutest thing ever and like it makes me want to do stuff and I just, it amazes me how teachers choose like they want to inspire other people to go into a field like they could have easily just kept going to school or like done research in or it's just, I like it when they ignite passion in someone else instead of themselves because they just want to spread it instead of just keep it with themselves. I like, I like school for the social, I also love it for the academics because you know that can help me out later in life, but the social and just being around people and everything and you know, the teachers who really, you can tell, are really passionate. That's what I love. It's like they kind of have like a dead poet society classroom and that you can just tell that they want to teach you this and they want you to learn and be an exuberant learner and whatnot. That's that's where I really love it and just being around people and everything. So that's why, that's what I'm happiest instead. Um, I'm happiest in class when the environment is happy and uh, I feel comfortable around the people that I'm with and my teacher too. Yeah, I think I'm happiest in school when I know that I'm in a class where everybody's respecting each other and it's just like, you just know that you are going to be accepted no matter what you say and you're not like scared to talk or say whatever you want. I am happiest in school when I'm involved in a lot of extracurricular activities. So I think teachers should really encourage all of their students to do extracurricular activities because you get to meet a lot more people and know not only other friends, but your coaches a lot more and have a deeper relationship with them. What I think makes an effective teacher is a teacher who has lots of energy, is always prepared for class, and a teacher that makes topics that are difficult to understand for some students, it makes them easier and can relate to and can relate them to stuff that goes on in the real world, helps make those topics much easier to understand for students. And that's what I think helps the info that the material that they're trying to get to us to learn helps it makes it much easier. And teachers that are dynamic and charismatic are always great and uh, ex an explosive teacher is always good, brings a lot of energy to class and life. Thank you. Um, obviously one that like, you have like, mutual respect with and everything, but also they're not entirely focused on just like the school curriculum and they don't only want to stick to that. Like they bring in outside like details and stuff. Like if something big just happened, like they're quick in a fall, like they talk about that. Or like the events in like Ferguson and stuff, and they bring in like actual events and like tie it into the real world and they don't just uh, blah blah blah, just totally ignore the issue. An effective teacher would be a teacher that genuinely cares about their students' education and wants the children to do well in school and just genuinely cares about the students' feelings as well as their grades. I think when teachers are very relaxed and go through the material step by step and are very consistent, it helps really a lot as well. My point is teacher follows the same format every day. And I don't think it makes it boring. I think it makes it comfortable because you know what you're getting into every day. And just being very normal and relaxed helps oh. calm our nerves as well. I like when teachers really invested in what they're teaching and like 
when they see a student that really likes it, they try to get them, like, even more, or even if a teacher, like, someone doesn't like it, they'll try to get them to do it, too, and it's, like, instead of having, like, your teacher is, like, you're looking up to them, and, like, they're all powerful, it's, like, they're really invested in your learning, and you're not just, like, doing work because your teacher told you to, it's because your teacher wants you to do good, and it's, it's more of, like, I don't know, like, some of the best teachers I know, they're very friendly with me, they say hi to me in the hallways, it's not just, like, a classroom relationship, and it's, I just like it when teachers are invested in my life and, like, my learning. And yes, like, being into the actual curriculum, like, understanding the chapters or the material assigned is really, really good and really important because that teacher was incredibly good, and I ended up getting a four on that AP test, but she also understood us from the point that we're still human, that, yes, she should be pushing us to understand the material, but also to understand ourselves and our limits and whether to push for something or not to push for something. understanding of everyone's individual situation. Um, well, some teachers, like in the beginning of the year, they ask you to write a letter to them, so just describing like what you have going on personally in your life and like background information about yourself, and I think that's important because you build that relationship right away instead of three months in. Just to take a breath and to realize that we're all people trying to do the same thing in the community. We're all just trying to work together. my camera on, I cut my fingers on the way, on the way, the way I'm slipping away, I turned my feelings on, you made me untouchable for life, yeah, yeah, and you wasn't the light, it hit me like a tongue, you hit me like a tongue. 